Hello there guys, this is episode 2 of Ask Elliot, and today's question is, where do you get your inspirations for your designs? And for me, when I'm coming to like design a new project or do anything um, to, to design a concept or anything like that, what I tend to do is I tend to go and look at other designs from the industry, kind of get an idea of what other people are doing. Um, that doesn't obviously mean it's correct, but it just gives me a bit of an idea of what other people have done and and got go from there sort of thing. Um, I need to obviously know what to, uh, things are going on that particular page. So once I, once I know what those sort of concepts are, what I actually tend to do is um, just when you're browsing the internet and looking at certain sites, like if there's just a particular concept that you like, I'll just bookmark that page and for, to come back to it later on. But something that I do uh, sort of rely on quite heavily is I go and dribble and Dribble has the ability for a search feature. So literally I can search uh, the tag for argument say we need to look at um, blog posts. I can just search in the header um, for blog posts and it'll just bring me up other uh, designers, um, what they've done and how the uh, sort of the, the idea of the design they've done. So it'll just sort of trigger little ideas in my mind of certain things that I like, but with me like going through so many websites on a daily basis, you kind of just store away little ideas of like, oh actually I remember I kind of like that concept from a particular website, like oh let's go back and have a look at it and you kind of look a little bit, bit more detail. It's one of those things that you'll kind of just get a bit of a memory bank, a little a bit of what goes on, but you'll always have to look for, for new ideas um, and continue. So that's why I quite like Dribble for just brings little, little, little snippets here and there. And then obviously when you come to do your design, you can just pull it all together. Uh, but for, for me personally, that's where I find most of my inspiration, either through sort of Dribble and just looking at industry related designs. I hope that helps.